So Carpet, I can understand Axel Toss's thought process here. Every time the desk is predicted unanimously, they've been wrong. But he's in this really awkward situation where if he predicts with them, that means energy is going to lose. And if he predicts against them, that means energy is going to win because they didn't predict unanimously. And that means he's wrong. He's wrong either way. He's a poor guy. It's one of those days. He's, in a, he, he's in a tough spot. I mean, to, in, uh, in his defense as well, everything has gone upside down with every performance from every team so far. Mm -hmm. Now, Energy did that last week, though. They sure did. They're the ones yeah. that last week they're like, they, they got this week out of the way early. Yeah. Yep. So now we can have hopefully a return to normalcy here. I'm hoping NRG stays the same as we've always expected them to be. I hope that they're still a very, very good team. And as crazy as it would be to see Rogue beat NRG here, I can't take that many upsets in one day. Like this, I, I need this to be a normal game of Rocket. I, I also, I mean, it's tough when you look at right now, Rogue has had now one much improved series. NRG had one not so great series, a bad series, I'll say. If That's... The weight still goes in favor of NRG. They still had a lot more good than bad. You know. I, I agree. I agree. It would still. It will still be an upset, despite the way that today has gone. Everything's an upset wins. today. Everything's an upset today. You know. Is it an upset if NRG beats Rogue right now <laughs> at this point? Who knows? Well, let's find out. Rogue in the blue, NRG in the orange. Best of five. First to win three takes home the victory here. Joro now up in the corner, past one. Garrett G will move out. Fireburner tries to pass up here to Justin. Justin creates a little bit of space. Fireburner will take a shot. Joro makes the save off the side, but Sizz not going to be able to pick it up. Garrett keeps the pressure on. Justin looks to pressure in the box and gets it past Jacob. It's Fireburner now up to one. Pass out into the middle. One of his teammates really in a good position to deal with it. And Joro will get challenged by Garrett. He goes neutral over to the side. Two things I'm looking for. Garrett G, see how he's performing. Oh, Ooh, That was my. just a wide open. They got that. The demolition left is kind of a space on the rotation, and Rogue scores. It did. Fireburner had to challenge this, but you noticed he was faced towards the corner. He had to predict where Jacob would place this. He kept it in the bottom right corner. Well played on him. The things I'm looking for out of NRG throughout this series, are they going to be bringing out the demolitions that we've seen from them in the series? And is Garrett G going to bring himself back at least closer to his normal form? Well, there's two demolitions in the last six seconds of play. It's Garrett G up to Justin, back into the middle. Garrett G's not going to be able to get there. Pass a little out of reach. Sizz to Jacob. Fireburner will meet it up by the ceiling. Justin in midfield now. He's got Garrett in the midfield. Jacob's right behind him. Former teammates here competing against each other as Fireburner puts it onto the backboard, looks to follow up his own touch. Can't get it through Joro. So he goes over to the side. Now Garrett G back over to Fireburner. Can he find Justin? It's Jacob pounding the ball. Gets it back out to midfield. He's leading the charge here for Rogue. Sizz now moving up. Justin gets it over to the side. Sizz then looking for bumps on goal. He's not finding any just yet. So Fireburner will get it over onto the wall. Garrett G follows it. Transition out onto offense here for Energy. Joro across the midfield line. Garrett and Net. I'm going to put it back to midfield again. Midfield control starting to be gained here by Rogue. As Jacob passes down to Sizz, gets it past Fireburner. Garrett G gets there and bails him out. Fireburner's been a little bit rough on defense this match, but so far it's only hurt them once. And I think the passes from Rogue are catching them off guard. You can see these nice deep midfield passes. They're staying far away from the NRG net, not letting defenders come out and challenge. But an unanswered touch. Is it going to sit right there? It gets saved by Joro, but Justin tries to intercept. Tries to put it back in. It was a great 1v2 by Jacobs to kill the ball. Now here comes Justin. Trying to push it across. Sizz now back in the middle. Joro will play it down and into the box. Justin falling back. Fireburner in net. Up first, looking for Gary G. Plays it long down the field. Sizz intercepts, sends it back to the goal, and Justin gets it away. A lot of defense having to be played here by Energy. Scary G will pick up boost. Through the air now, past Sizz, and connecting with Justin. The double tap goes wide of the goal. He had the shot there in front of him. A player of that caliber should be able to score. Shot goes wide. Energy still trailing by one. The team touches from Rogue. Going into this week, they were one of the top teams in passes just to each other, whether it be defense or offense, and you can still see it now. Always looking for each other, always supporting. Fireburner on the wall against Jacob. Ball still in Energy's half as Justin is demolished on the far side. Garrett G is the only player back, but he gets it all by himself. Up towards the backboard, Garrett G. 
Trying to follow this. Sizz will connect with Joro now towards the goal of energy. Justin Airborne can't get it away. Sizz gets it off the back wall, and it's two-goal lead now for Rogue. Catching NRG on the wrong side. Fireburner retreated all the way back. Didn't get a single ounce of boost. All the corners taken. Didn't turn in for the pads in time. Two goals up for Rogue? That's a question mark, by the way. That meant to sound like one. Is, are, are they two goals up? Yes, they are, Carpet. And it's just, today just continues to be one of those days. <laughs> Justin finally, though, look at that. Gets the flip reset off the ball and scores. There's not much to say about this. Goes up, gets oh. its wheels, makes the contact, gets it right past Jacob. Nothing Joro can do. He saw Jacob at the high angle, so he dropped down low in case it came in. But Justin, always a showcase. I wasn't ready for it. You know, they, they've they've been sandbagging me in this game. It's been like, oh, the, the, the offensive energy just hasn't quite been there. Then picks up the ball off the ground, air dribbles it himself, gains a flip reset and scores. Absolutely the type of play we expect from energy. You know, if they can just keep on doing it here, it'll be a lights out series. Goal going here. Can Sizz get a pass? Justin, no. Gives it over to the side, and Garrett G, 50-50, back down in. Justin Fireburner trying to tag team this one out to Garrett. He's leading up the front line, gets it past Joro, and it's just one in the back. He'll clear it out, put it back into their own corner. Fireburner and Justin respecting Sizz in the air, and he'll connect with Joro to put it all the way onto the back wall of energy. One minute remaining here, a one-goal game. Justin trying to move up, and pressure Sizz. Garrett looking to connect with his teammate. So far, everything being intercepted by Rogue. They get it back over onto the backboard. Sizz will get it away. When Rogue gets control in their half, I want you to watch their defensive positioning. They're always getting short passes to each other, making sure that they're not allowing any midfield passes from NRG right now, trying to stifle them as much as possible. Here comes Garrett onto the back wall. Can he get it by himself? Pass Jacob, but Joro's there. Picks up ball control, demolished by Garrett from behind. An opening created here. Can Energy use it? 30 seconds remaining, and Justin out of the corner gets a pass to pass two. Sizz sets it up in front of the goal, but Garrett will tap it down in. Joro sends it away. A great save that turns into the clear and the transition here for Jacob, but Justin comes flying in. Fire. Connecting back with Fireburner across the goal. Joro pops it high, but Justin could possibly find it. He's looking to read Jacob, who sends it over the side and keeps it lofted. The one goal game, anything could tie it up then Jacob can't get Night it past three. Fireburner he's back in where is Justin he comes up from the back but it's a little bit too little too late it'll hit the ground and energy drops game one rogue 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 really just trying to keep keep the theme of the day alive you know just keep it alive why not you guys had expectations too bad throw them out the window throw them out the window put them in the trash can light the trash can on fire the passing None of it matters the passing from rogue though when I looked at the stat before I came in today, I, think, I believe it was number one. I believe they're number one in passes per game, just touching it to each other. Caught me off guard. Mm. It just means they're not doing it towards the net. Right. They're not doing it when it's in when it's in a place when it's in their well, opponent's half. Exactly, because like they can be number one in passes, but they were the, in the bottom five for assists per game, and they were in the bottom five of shots per game. They yep. were doing. They were not able to be productive in their own or in the enemy half. But here, openings created off of demolitions give them goals. Able to stop plays at the goal line. That missed shot from Justin. He got the one crazy goal that Energy scored in this series, but they still, yeah. he had another one. He could have tied it up. Garrett G as well. There was one toward Joro, who was to the far left post. I think he may have been able to put power on the opposite side of the net. Maybe in just a quick transition, he wasn't aware that Joro even had the reach to get there, but he could have potentially placed it a little further away from the defender. Would have had at least a much more risky opportunity for Joro to go for, which would have let them continue maybe get another shot in the next one could have been the one we, we learned last week we, we watched energy just apply monstrous pressure in their enemy terror in the enemy half when they were playing against evil geniuses the sort of they were able to keep it trapped against the back wall keep them drowned of boost and they had to do it for so long because they weren't ever scoring they couldn't put the shots on here again able to do everything they need except for actually get the ball in the net this is the start of another upset today it goes across. Energy starts on offense, but quickly countered here. Jacob looking Nicely to send it done. towards the goal, and Garrett G will get it away. Garrett now leading this up across midfield. Justin finds a nice read on Jacob, and Fireburner, a great win in the corner here. He tries to wrap this around. Garrett G all the way in the back. He'll look to read Sizz here, but Sizz beats him to the ball, and now Joro moves up, gains control, looking against two defenders. Pass one. Here comes Jacob with a shot behind. It's off the post. They had completely dismantled the defense, but couldn't get the accuracy. Beautiful play. Joro goes for the bump. After getting a pass all the way across into Jacob, the placement a bit weak. Fireburner across the field. Joro up. Doesn't find anything, and another shot comes through from Fireburner. Blocked by Sizz. 
Now passing it back down. Here comes Garrett G. Oh, and he finds the corner. Looked like it might be wide. What a pass from Fireburner. This pass from Fireburner, man, the pace on it directly at Garrett G. It comes off the wall, drops it right onto his hood, and the shot from Garrett keeps it nice and high. He didn't have the best angle. He had to hit that with almost the side of his car, which is generally significantly more weak than the front of your car. But he gets it in. And Energy's got their first lead of the series. Jacob comes off the ceiling, finds Sizz. Onto the back wall, a shot blocked by Garrett. They'll hold on to their lead for now. Justin now holds on to ball control. He's got one player to work with. They bring out a lot of defenders, but Rogue holds on to ball control. Getting to pass one now back into the midfield and over towards the energy box. Firebrenner wraps it around, pass back into the midfield. It'll be Garrett G sending it a long ways down the field, up onto the backboard. Jacob didn't find contact, but Garrett G couldn't get the double tap. Joro off the side wall and connecting with Jacob. They'll play it all the way back down. Sizz airborne, but Justin takes it away from him. The back wall defense. Now pass play here from Rogue. Sizz pops it high. There's nobody to take this shot. Jacob comes in from the side. He and Garrett will fake each other out. Fireburner gets it underneath one of the balls in midfield. Rogue, I love how close they're staying together, especially for these little passes to each other. It really is slowing down NRG. NRG will get a couple of really good passes, maybe one good shot. But then in that transition, Ooh. here's the drop from Jacob. Joro is able to set it on target. There's a bit of an own goal here from NRG, but what a pass it from does. Jacob. This pass from Jacob, dropping it straight down. Joro has to bail. Mission abort on that shot. He was going to go up for it, but Jacob's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Relax. I'm putting it to you. Get back yep. on the ground, buddy. Just just, just touch the ball at all. Trust me, they'll freak out. I used to play with these guys. They'll suck at this. <laughs> Jacob. Just Jacob things in season six, folks. It's finally happening. Another demolition onto Garrett. Oh, and the shot from Jacob's wide. A counter demolition onto Sizz. His Fireburner can move up, but Sizz off the respawn. Gaining ball control. Jacob still looking to harass Garrett G in the middle. Fireburner onto the back wall. On the back wall again, here comes Justin. Brought Jacob out. He's able to pick it up, put it across the midfield line. Now Gary G down the field. Save your middle already here about halfway through the game. This is Jacob now on the Short wall again. Short passes again. Let's keep on playing it laterally as well. The pass across here, Gary G looking to pick it up, sends it back to Justin, finds the corner. No, it's wide. The Accuracy again, plaguing energy. You could talk about how difficult that shot is, but this is the team that can do those over and over again. Justin pulls out one defender, just Joro all alone. Great bait, and he's chasing him down, breathing down his neck, threatening the demolition. Says now onto the wall. Fireburner's there, finds Garrett, finds the pass back across, and Fireburner takes the shot wide once more. They continue to find the passes. A follow-up shot from Justin will sink straight into the middle of the goal. They find it off of a rogue touch, and the lead's back here for Energy. This is their sixth shot, and they're sealed down by shots. Rogue has seven total, five of them coming from Jacob himself. But NRG, you can see the accuracy play in them. And it, you know, they're a team we uphold to a very high standard. As difficult as the shot is, we're expecting you to make those. That is the standard that you have set for us. Energy. They couldn't make the first play that they created work, but they were able to react well to the mistakes from, <laughs> from Rogue. What a save from Joro. Holy cow. As the kickoff nearly goes in Energy's favor. Again, the gentle touch from Jacob, letting Joro come up for it. Past one, Justin connected with Garrett G, trying to get it back down. Where's Fireburner? He's hanging back. He's holding on to the lead, happy to hunker down on the defense, but they get it past him, and Justin up in the corner, couldn't find it. Jacob by himself ties the game. Look at this gentle touchdown from Sizz into Jacob. They're not clearing it for just no good reason. We see that happen so many times. A team just gets a little bit panicked. They flick it out. They clear it. They tell someone to go chase it. They're like, here, you go. Fetch. But this time, they're just such <laughs> gentle touches down to each other, always shadowing, making sure that they're there to support each other. That shot from Jacob, perfect placement in the corner, just barely out of reach from Justin. And they've tied the game once more. 120 left on the clock. Energy with a shot here, Fireburner down, and the sizzle played away. Gets a pass Justin as well, but Garrett G picks it up at midfield, passes back up to Justin, still in the cherry pick. Now Jacob back out. Sizz into the corner, Fireburner up. It's coming back down, Justin not going to make contact. On a miss there, a fake. Gary G doesn't have it. Joro, what was this on Justin? Able to come up and get the lead when they need to. One minute left. Justin what? thought he had that bounce. Joro just fakes him. He's like, hey, come up here. Oh, wait, I'm not touching it. Nope. Psych. Hard to say he actually had no more boost. I'm curious to know if he had intentions of trying to boost down or if his intention was to get the fake. It looked like I, a fake, I will say. I choose to believe.
choose to believe indeed. I, I'll, I'll, I'll sit there with you. And Rogue's got the lead. They took the winning game one with 48 seconds left in game two. They've got a lead here. Could possibly gain match point. It's just under the wall. Sizz counters. Back into the orange corner. Fireburner looking to clear it out. Gets it past Joro, a touch from Justin, sends it down the field, and Jacob now up on the wall, off the ceiling, missed contact. Here comes Justin in with a shot. A follow-up from Garrett G, blocked by Sizz, sent away. And now Fireburner through. Jacob was able to get it past him. Pop it back, looking for the back pass to Joro. Works out, keeps the ball in the orange. A double commit from Jacob and Sizz, but they're still winning the challenges. As Fireburner tries to get it out, and Joro from the back, dropping it back down, sends it near the goals. Can Sizz tap it in? No, uh -oh. it's high, but with eight seconds left, Justin trying to hold on to the ball here. Goes for the demolition on Jacob, and he didn't find it. Jacob gets it all the way back down, and it's lofted straight in front of the goal. Joro will take a shot. He'll sink it in, the buzzer beater that they didn't need. Rogue wins to game two. They might not need it, but Joro, Definitely does. He needs to pad them stats from how oh, yeah. he's performed in the first few weeks. Rogue, the short passes are beating out NRG. NRG don't seem to be thinking ahead. They're smacking it, assuming that someone's not going to hit it, or they're going to have a better touch than they do. And Rogue is taking full advantage. I love how aware they are of each other. The short touches, man, I can't say it enough. It, it was, was Axel Toss right? That's is Axel Toss going to be the only person that predicted this one correct? We all predicted the runners up from season five, NRG, and Rogue here might be about to beat them. It'll be their second loss in a row. Rogue had 12 shots. Three of their four goals assisted. They're working as a team. Both of NRG goals were also assisted by Firebrenner himself. They had 11 shots as well. Yeah. They've been getting, it. I can. I said it time and time again, NRG is doing everything right except for shooting the ball at the goal. They're just yep. missing the goal on that final shot. Obviously the most important thing to get right and maybe the most difficult thing to do correctly, especially at the speed these guys play. But the pass plays, they're beautiful. They're just not turning into goals. By the way, when you mentioned uh, uh, Axel being right, Lalo's over there, he's like, He's scared. A little scared. A little scared. We're all a little scared. Rogue now a single game away from picking the series. I see Gibbs strolling back in. He wasn't prepared e after walking in. Everybody's so eyebrows scared. in the studio right now are like this. Hello. They're all like mm, everybody. I'm scared. I don't. I don't. I don't like this at all. We'll see. We'll see. He's 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 a little worried. He doesn't know what to think about it. We'll find out, folks. We're about to get into game three. I suspect energy will get a win here. But that still doesn't seal the deal for me. You can suspect me. all you want. I didn't suspect Rogue to get the first two. <laughs> so there's no more suspecting. I suspected they would get two wins before did, by this time did, in the series, yes. Did they finally hit the spot they needed? Did Rogue find their sweet spot? And what on earth did they do between last week and this week? What is their regimen? Because it, they should just do this for every part of their lives. Everything. If you're able to beat, if you're able to win like this. Did you more veg? Is it, was it the broccoli? I'll oh, drop it down. Joro will play it away from his own half. And there goes Fireburner in with a shot, dropping back down in. Garrett will look to find it, but can't get it through the defense. Justin, Justin out, past one. Here comes Joro up the field. Out to guess who? Oh, Jacob. If you have to guess, it's probably Jacob. He gets it past Garrett once more. Justin will play it onto the wall, but Still, and then a bump on the Fireburner from Jacob, just doing so much work here to keep this ball in the orange. So Joro will look to pass. Not going to find anybody. Is Garrett G out of his own corner? He's got Jacob challenging him, sends it laterally onto the wall. Says Airborne, can he beat Justin? No, Justin's got it over the top. Can he double tap it down? Nope, it's wide again. He had the contact. He made contact with the ball, but could not put it on the net. Here, G now in by himself, sent away by Sizz. He did just barely run out of boost at the end of that. I could tell he wanted to drop his car just a tiny bit more to get the angle that he needed to get around it. And the kind of cherry-picking roles we're seeing in a rogue we haven't seen in a long time. That almost backfired. Sizz, what a dangerous touch. He sends it right down at Justin. Like, just rogue manhandling the oh, game. Finally, it. Justin gets a goal in here. As I just, I don't know what to expect from NRG right now. This hit right here. This hit to the side as opposed to going for the net. Sis was sitting in net and he clearly had boost. So instead of giving him a chance to pinch it into the crossbar or really push it to the corner, he put it behind Sis on the backboard. Confident that he'd make the follow up. I love that. A lot of pressure there from NRG to kick off. Goes back into the blue box. Jacob now off the wall, pass one, down to Sizz. Great pass, can't get it through Gary G though. Joro will intercept, take it away from Fireburner. And they are back down towards Jacob. And Jacob tries to pick it up after the interference from Energy. Fireburner passed one towards the open net. Joro will come in from the side, make the save. 
Fitz is now up the field. Justin in his own corner. He's got Jacob to deal with here. Gets it past him, but can't get it out of his own half at all. Fireburner now back down the field and Sizz this time. All of Rogue leaving a player far back, trying to avoid the long booming clears, and oh dear, tragedy strikes Rogue with the own goal. Please don't let this be the first step down the staircase. Oh, please no. Don't let that be the slip. If this is the slip down the staircase and Rogue is going to fall apart, don't let that be it. It happens. The replay. Not often. It the, happens. The replay didn't even know what to do with that. He was like, wait, what? <laughs> there were two of you. How did that go in? Fireburner now looking to connect with Justin. A two-goal lead for Energy. 2.43 left on the clock. This is off the wall. Me, Jacob picks it up, looking to play it into the energy corner. He's got Carrying full by control. himself. Fireburner nice driving it down. Justin to take it away from the goal and get it past Joro as well. Past Sizz again. Can they go up by three on demolition? And Fireburner's got an open net. No one's there. Jacob couldn't get back in time. 3 0 energy. That 50 50, or I shouldn't say, that tackle from Jacob falling down. He kept the control, stayed behind the ball. Got a beautiful tackle. Dropped to the second line of defense for NRG. But the position of his teammates were a little bit too aggressive. It got right past that final defender. The demolition to boot, 3-0 for NRG. NRG looking good to finally take a win here. Half the game to go, a three-goal lead. So far shutting out the boys from Rogue. Jacob popping this one high. Joro thinks about following it. Joro and Jacob bump into each other in front of the net, but they are still able to make the save. Can they keep it away from the net? Finally, Garrett G, you know, he will not be able to get that one through. Sizz keeps this one up. Back to midfield, pressure continues here for Energy as Garrett G tries to get it through Joro. Now Jacob over to the side, through the air. A great pass down the field. Can Sizz get there in time, playing it towards the back wall. He's got many players to deal with, and Joro comes in, misses the shot. He had gotten cleared the defense, and now the breakaway. All the way back down the field, Oro Energy. They're giving it their all, and it's not working right now. They gave it as valiant of an effort as you can possibly do with an NRG that's going to play safer. A lot more players stacked on defense. You're going to let in some goals. It's bound to happen, but you need to decipher this defense. How do you get past NRG right now? Because going into the last game, or the next game, could be the last. Who well, knows? On that last push, they had gotten past the defense. They created the opening. Sizz bumped the goalies, and Justin will put in a fifth goal here. It was Joro who was unable to make the shot happen. And the, just the bleeding continues here. Look at Justin go. Man, that actually came. That was pretty. That was beautiful. That's pretty dirty. How much boost did he have left? Zero. That was everything. Justin. Hashtag Justin things. Wait, it, who is it Jacob or Justin? It's, it's always Jacob, but you know, he replaced Jacob, so. In one, in a matter of three minutes. In a matter of three minutes, we're gonna <laughs> change, the, change the slogan. No, but he replaced Jacob on energy. Oh, so. uh, I get it. So maybe he takes over his slogan as well. It's a stretch. 120 left on the clock. Energy right now definitely in control of game number three. And this is ba this happens a lot here, where you see a team go up by two, Proper adjustments are made by Energy. They were able to tighten up the defense, keep their goal clean, which I think is a big part of what they were able to do in this in this particular game. A big adjustment. Make sure that they're not allowing easy goals to go in. Give themselves room to score. Rogue didn't quite know what to do with it. They'll finally get one in here, but at this point, they need four more in the final minute. That's never happened in RLCS history, so we'll see. If there's ever a day. If, you know, you're not wrong. If there was a day to see five goals scored in the final minute, oh man. That, that would be a record, by the way. It, I, I'd like to hope so. The one, the unique things that I'm seeing out of Rogue that I think right now are setting them apart and letting them take down these teams, the short passes are one thing, but they're leaving somebody up in the cherry-picking role a little bit more often. It kind of fell out of the meta for a lot of the season. People don't leave that person up. And it's not really that they're just staying and waiting. It's that they're quicker to turn around and get ready for that pass. And also on defense, who is taking that ball? It's always... It's not always the person from net. They're not always going with the safest one. Sometimes a person from the corner will get a real hard clear out, and it's the person from net that follows it out. Yep. They're taking the slightly riskier approach, but it's throwing a lot of these teams off guard. Obviously not right now. Six to one. <laughs> Who am I to talk about that, that, that was one of the longest shots possible, by the way. Nearly from his... Wall to wall. Almost from his own back wall. What a shot placement there from Garrett G. With 30 seconds left. This one will be all over. And you're, you're right that the cherry pick has not been as important of a part of the meta 
in Season 6, but I think a lot of it has to do with how much better people have gotten in the midfield. Oftentimes when a player loses a challenge in the middle, he just moves up, steals an opponent's boost, and he's in the cherry pick, he's there. But uh, you have to win that next challenge. Your next player in the rotation has to win it to be able to pass it to you. And right now, teams are doing a great job making sure that you can't use those cherry picks. So as this game wraps up, Energy will put one down. Do they get the Brazil? Nearly. It won't happen this time, but Energy, they're not going to get swept by Rogue. I think Sizz actually tried to give it to him. I think Sizz was like, here, why not? That'd be a Sizz thing to do. You know what? They're all good friends. Either way, NRG clearly taking that game in their own hands and just molding the score in their favor. Rogue didn't seem to have the same strength. Eight shots from Justin. Eight. That's a lot of shots. That's crazy. The record is like 11. Like, that's, that's an absurd number of shots for one player to put up in one game. But here, nobody going scoreless. Garrett G putting up a hat trick. Didn't do any assisting in this game, but he didn't really need to. Five saves from Joro. So we see just a large turn of the table here as Energy, again, hunkering down on the defense, keeping their net clean until the final minute, and being able to constantly actually convert on their scoring opportunities. And it gets tough for me in those games because I don't really know that point of when Rogue's like done. I'm done. <laughs> you know, I mean, it wasn't the third goal, the fourth goal, the second goal. I have no, no. idea. There was obviously a point where Rogue's like, let's just kind of have some fun and, and toy with a couple of new tactics, maybe some new spread on the field. This game is clearly done. There's no point in, in, in dumping too much mental energy into it because then you're not going to have that for the next game. I still like what I'm seeing out of them, but energy seemed to be picking up the pace. They just got a little bit faster that game. They were reading each other's touches a bit more. They were trying to stay one more step ahead of Rogue than they were previously in that game. Liking it. Game four here. Rogue still on match point. Still with an opportunity to finish off energy for game five. They'll win the first kickoff here. Justin, though, with a response. Jorah putting it down into his own corner here. It's a fire burner. Moving on up here is a nice clear from Sizz down the field, punting it. Into the energy territory, Garrett G connected with Justin. A great transition of the shot on target right now, I believe, and Jacob will send it away. It's Justin. Can't get it past him, but Fireburner. Oh, he gets the demolition in net. Jacob's going to fly back quickly here. A follow-up shot from Garrett G defended by Jacob. Great decision-making there on the defense from Rogue. So they'll keep us scoreless here in game four. Jacob and Sis trying to work together. So far, they've done so uncontested. There's the passing that we see in a Rogue. They had a great counterattack. Just had no shot. Jacob's shot was wide. Accuracy again being an issue. Jacob and Sizz both up in the enemy corner. Justin by himself gets it away. Garrett G now flying it down the field. Justin will look to put it into the middle, see if he can set it up for Fireburner. Joro now up on the wall. Fireburner with a great challenge. Jacob tries to get it through. Back out to Joro. Justin up. Garrett G passed one. Can he get it? Oh, a great trap underneath and a block from Joro. Justin had a shot. A beautiful pass from Garrett, but Joro had the read. Following along. Stays scoreless. Garrett G looking for Fireburner, intercepted by Joro. Justin's in a rough position here. Sizz is pressuring him. The ball's dropping back down to the box again. Garrett G can't get it out. Fireburner up, and Jacob keeps this ball competitive. Looking to pass it out here, but puts it behind himself. As Joro will look to get it out to Sizz. Justin finds the clear. Sizz has to make the retreating save. Will stay scoreless again. Both teams with great opportunities, but nobody finding the back of the net just yet. Here comes Justin one more time off the ceiling, looked for the flip, but couldn't quite predict it. Somewhere during that last attack on Rogue, Sizz dropped all the way back to their half for boost because there was none on the side. And instead of supporting his teammate, I don't, I can't tell if it was a good or bad decision. Obviously, in hindsight, we'll find out. But his team definitely, a, a ball started to bounce out of pass from Joro. He wasn't there to support. We'll see it playing a little bit safe. Garrett with a fake to get a pass too. Jacob will be able, able to get the block on Justin. Rogue holds on. Good interception from Garrett G as Sizz was looking for the counter. Justin now through the ceiling. Joro gets it away off the back wall. Here comes Fireburner, shot on target, and it'll go in. There's the goal for Energy. Finally, a breakdown on the defense from Rogan. A great shot from this, Fireburner. This is what we've seen weeks prior. Jacob, I think, got bumped into Sizz, who then bumped Jacob into net. Then Sizz found himself too far out because he knew he had to hold Jacob's position. He was just a little bit too close and not close enough at the same time. Yep. At that point, they were relying on Joro to make contact. Many, many mistakes on defense from Rogue result in a goal for Energy. Fireburner couldn't make contact there as Jacob got it past him. Sizz looking for goalie. He's not going to find any needs to retreat quickly here. Jacob and Fireburner demolish each other off 
to the side. Justin here, he's got Garrett in front of him. Pops it up high here for Fireburner. The pass plays for energy and to move it down the field. Pajoro, he's got it away. Jacob looking for the shot. So he puts it back into the corner. Garrett G. Off his own back wall, gets it back out to Justin. Finds the pass back down to Fireburner and shot towards the goal will be wide. And Jacob sent it away a bit. Now Garrett G back over to Justin. Three players on defense here, all tightly tight on the formation for Rogue. 1.45 left to go. Rogue took games one and two, but right now, Energy slowly crawling back into control. Another shot from Garrett G sent away by Joro. It's Fireburner into the corner. Looking for bumps, finds one on the Siz, but it's not much of one as Justin sends a shot towards the goal again. It's high this time, follow up from Garrett G, blocked by Siz, but still lofted. Fireburner's airborne, looking for the shot towards Joro. It's soft and Joro gets it away. Jacob picking up ball control off the contact from his teammate. Now out to Joro again, dropping it down Joro! to tie up the game. A brilliant counterattack from Rogue. Jacob had so much trust in his team to stay on defense. That was just Siz and Joro playing defense. That entire time, Jacob was there for support, but he was waiting for that clear and the opportunity showed up. Joro came to support him. He got the shot when he needed, tied up. 1.16 on the clock. Another goal from Rogue. Give Energy their second loss. Gary G and Justin tagging this one on the backboard. Jacob sends it over to the side. Fireburner and Gary G, a bit of an overlap on zone. It's Fireburner into the corner. Gotten away by a rogue. They get it back out into the orange. Gary G punts to Siz. Counter clears back into the orange corner. Fireburner's there with not great positioning, but he gets it to his teammate Justin. They tag team this one back to midfield. Joro wins the challenge. Siz with a shot onto the backboard. Justin sends it away. Now Gary G down the field to the fully defended rogue half. Siz through one. Justin with contact, 30 seconds remaining and still tied up. Another goal from Rogue, we see them with the win, but here comes Garrett G, passed off the shot from Justin and Energy's got the lead. Clinical play from Justin, just waiting for Jacob to be in the worst spot, pops it right around him. Defender and net had to come up, that came so far away from net, Joro was never going to make it in time and NRG retake the lead. 22 seconds for Rogue. This kickoff is critical as Siz. Able to win it. Here comes Joro onto the backboard. Fireburner's got to make this contact. Jacob gets it back down. Siz moves back into the corner. Joro kind of just caught out the creek without a paddle. Doesn't know what to do. The defensive energy collapsing here as Joro finally comes back into the play. Jacob and Siz on the wall trying to work together with four seconds left. Jacob off the ceiling. Finds the pass across. Here comes Joro over around the corner. Justin keeps it alive. He's going to try and carry it by himself. But Siz on the ground did not find a way to challenge Justin. It'll go into the corner and we go for the 400th time today to game five. Looking at absolute defeat, NRG, bring it when it's needed. It's, it's not always pretty. Nine shots to four that time. That is the most dominant performance we've seen so far out of either of these teams in this series. It's been pretty split down the middle. Rogue is still bringing something unique to the table. Their defense, their positioning, their rotations, all a little bit different from other people. Mm -hmm. They're not doing full three men. They're not doing the full three-man rotation constantly. Sometimes Jacob just sits up and he's like, you two have this. Right. And I'm going to get the counterattack and I will be there for it. I, I question Joro's decision to fall back. What I assume was for boost there in the final 10 seconds. We, the defensive energy. We saw that from Sis earlier too. And it just completely, the defense yeah. from, from energy just was suddenly gone. They were off to the side. The ball was just sitting in midfield and Jacob was behind the ball. He had to like try and get around it if he was going to try and take a shot. If Joro had just been there, he didn't need the boost. He yeah. just had to tap it in and we'd be in overtime right now. But right now, now, Rogue, game on to game five against Energy. Can they find a way to put it together? They've had two chances here, and they haven't been able to do it. And that's a big point that we used to bring up a long, long time ago. And people were starting to master this three-man rotation. We talked about how important it is that you don't mess up at all. Right? Sure. Because no one's sitting back on defense, which we used to do. Someone sits back, two people go up, and you just wait until you rotate back from offense to defense. That, the fact that we saw Siz and Jorah go back every now and then, is kind of that same thing. If you're going to implore this tactic where you're playing hyper close together, Really short passes, even when you're on offense, which is working right now against one of the best teams in North America. For sure. Well, in, in, in the final 10 seconds, you're already losing the game. Yeah. It doesn't matter if another goal goes in. Just commit to it. You don't have time. But here, we, they find themselves in game five. Can they beat Energy on Champions Field? 
Justin and Garagy, a small double commit there. The wraps around the corner. Garagy gets back down. He's able to keep the ball moving into the blue steadily. Jacob above off the wall. Fireburner. This one back out to Garrett G. Justin moves in, looking for another shot here. Wins the challenge against Sizz and keeps it in the corner. A bit of a double commit between Fireburner and Justin as well. It'll be just up to Garrett G, but a great quick turn there at double demolition. Jacob's the only player on the field. An open net. Fireburner shouldn't miss this oh. one, and he doesn't. Jacob nearly got back in time. He did a good job putting a lot of speed on this ball here, but Energy gets the goal. I don't know if either Jacob thought only one of those demolitions was against this team or if he was just expecting that to roll and wanted to keep control up into the corner. He, if he knew both got demoed, obviously his option was to buy time and he wanted to make it roll. Right. If he thought one of those demolitions wasn't against his team and, and that the other one was for the opponents, then maybe he was intending to pass that middle. Well, a rocket of contact. Oh, what? and a follow-up here. The defense uh, maybe is pressured in net too much. Sis ties the game. Run right up, Fireburner gets the touch out to the corner. Oh, him and Justin. Him and Justin just holding gas, and then Garrett feeling the pressure from somebody. Who was that? It was mid? Jacob. It was Jacob trying to pressure him in net. Now tied up. Roga really keeping this series. Right there, right back at him. Took two demolitions for energy to score. Fireburner with a great read off Joro. And then the contact back in the middle. Justin's uncontested. Gets a pass. One drops it down. Justin, what a goal. And a great pass from Fireburner. And that's when the double touch consistency will always prove to work. What could Jacob do here? Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Justin knew he put it on target. Jacob would have easily had that clear. But that first touch to the backboard left Jacob like a deer in the headlights. Absolutely helpless against Justin, who has started to be more and more accurate as the series has gone on. We saw him with similar shots earlier today. He missed. So far, this one's working. A flick over Sizz. Joro sends it to the side. Garrett G looking for the read. Can't get it as Joro continues to make contact. Justin over to the corner. Jacob now here out to Joro. Fireburner looking to pressure, gets it past him. Sizz will have to play this out by himself, but Fireburner continues to be a nuisance and bumping Joro as well. He's gotten in the way of every single rogue player here in the last few seconds, and now a shot towards the backboard. Joro's not there. Justin looking for the demolition onto Sizz. He'll opt for the boost steal instead. Sizz now back across. Here comes Justin on the response. Garrett G. Coming up behind, looking for the flank as Justin tries to drop it to him. Garrett G now up, sends the shot towards the goal. Sizz makes the save, and it's a nice and powerful pinch off of Joro as well to get it over Fireburner, who is looking for the cleanup. I love that Justin turned around there as well. He knew that his team was on that retreating defense. He figured, why not throw this shot towards Rogue, make them pull away. Whoa, that was scary. So Jacob gets it away. Joro and Jacob moving up together, working as one. Now Sizz getting involved with the pinch from Fireburner going over the top of him, and Jacob able to try and pick this one up. Justin with a nice touch, sends it back towards the goal. Sizz is there to send it to the corner, but Justin continues to move up, bumps another rogue player to keep possession in Energy's favor. So right here at halftime, still a one-goal lead for Energy in a decisive game five. Garrett G with a pass out to Justin, sends the shot towards the goal, and saved by Jacob. Fireburner now up on the wall, keeping the pressure here for Energy. So Justin back into the corner once more. Garrett looking for a chance. Pitches it off of Sizz, Fireburner onto the back wall, pass two. Can he get the bump onto Jacob? Jacob's touch is soft. Here's Justin, pass Sizz into the corner. Two goal lead for Energy. It seemed like Rogue felt like they had to make that shot right now. I'm surprised Sizz wanted to go follow that out. It bounced off the ceiling too, coming back down. Didn't expect Justin to be there, but there was so much time between that touch from Jacob and that touch from Justin. So Sizz either needed to react quicker or just stay in net because that save or that shot wasn't terribly quick. 2.07 on the clock, a two-goal deficit. Things starting to look grim for Rogue. What a fantastic game one and two. Justin gets it past. There's nobody in the back. They'll just continue to run the scoreboard up. Rogue's trying to commit on this offense and getting punished immediately. They're committing just a little bit too hard, and that's not something that no one is seeing right now. I'm not I'm the Captain Obvious right now. <laughs> but four goals to one. The Rogue that I've seen so far this series is I think the Rogue that we all imagined when the season started. When the right? season started, this is not a match I expected Rogue to win at all. In the best no. in the best of terms, I didn't expect Energy to be having their hands full. I didn't expect them to go to game five here, but Rogue has come alive at the right time. Just the problem is Energy has started to really figure out some of their issues here, finally towards the end of this series. This is Justin now onto the backboard again. Sizz tries, but can't make contact. Joro has to bail him out and send it to the corner. 
The Fireburners continue to pressure. Nice pass to Garrett. Shot on target, and Jacob can't get there. The infield pass. Energy's running away with it. At this point, Rogue doesn't really know where they want to be. They've fallen apart. Do you see the bump in the corner? Sis and Jora both there. That leaves Jacob backwards in net. Not much to do about that. Garrett G finally seems to have figured out he's aligned his sights, man. They were a little yeah. bit off target last week, but here, Garrett G's back. <laughs> so guys, I, I swear I was shooting at the net. Why is it always going <laughs> wide? Uh oh, just need to turn this knob a little bit. Says dropping it in. Jacob getting Garrett in net, and Garrett still gets the clear all the way back down. Solo transition as well. Joro tries, and Justin just dunks the ever-living daylights out of him. 6-1, NRG. NRG, they're done with this series. They were done with this series when this <laughs> Game 5 started. Two shots for Rogue, nine shots for NRG. Rogue hasn't even been able to control a thing. Can they get to Brazil this time? Minute and 13 left to do it. It's Joro up on the wall. Fireburner back out to Garrett. Jacob, puts some pressure on a midfield. Fireburner now across. Here's Justin dropping it in, and it goes oh, through Brazil God. here. Yeah, I, I got to say Rogue is just done. As in, like, I don't think they're, they're positioning. Jorah with the side flip, is not there. Didn't get the save. Beautiful shot from NRG. I mean, for them, this is this is target practice. Yeah. Like, you guys, like, try to defend your net a little bit. We want to shoot some. It's just straight up a shooting gallery here for NRG as they, in games one and two, Looked like Rogue was going to continue the day, continue to show us just upset after upset. And then in game three, started to come alive here for Energy. They'll put in one more, keep the score going. And every game has been more and more dominant here from Energy. Seven shots from Justin, two from Fireburner, and four from Garrett. 13 right now and still 45 seconds left to play. Five goals from Justin. By the way, if Justin scores another goal, this will be an RLCS record. No one has ever scored more than five goals in a game. It's happened 10 times or more. Pashi's done it three times. If Justin hits this shot, he'll set an RLCS record. I can't tell what's longer, the world's longest overtime or this game from the replays. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps on going, right? Garrett G, setting it up, Fireburner, looking for it. Justin, airborne here with 25 seconds left. He's carrying it through the air by himself. Can he do it? Jacob and Sis double commit. Can't get it out. Joro back to Jacob. Shot on target. No, it doesn't go in. They tried to find it. Fireburner now passing up to Justin, looking for the shot. He puts it, it in. Congratulations, Justin. Justin there for the redirect. The pass from his teammate, Fireburner. There's not a lot to analyze left. I'm going to talk to you earlier in this series. You know, this game's clearly, if you haven't figured it out, ladies and gentlemen watching at home, this game is over. I'm pretty certain that 10 goals is also a record. Hopefully, Roe can avoid having two 11 set. Goals. No, is it 11? Are you sure 11 goals for one team? I'll have to have, to have to have confirmation on that. We'll let the desk figure that one out. But I'm pretty certain 10 goals has never happened before. Energy absolutely raffle stomping Rogue here in game five. Guys, I've got other Rocket League games to watch. Can you <laughs> hurry this up? Can you please hurry this up? If I talked earlier in the series, the way Rogue performed in the first four games is I think the Rogue that we all predicted to see at the beginning of the season, when we thought about this roster, we, we, uh, between what we know Joro's skill, Jacob and Sid, if we think about them at their prime, that's how they played in the first four games. The good passes, the awkward positioning, the mechanical skill,